Hello viewers, I hope you are enjoying good health. I am Nikla Fogos and you are watching my channel Scholars World. I am here with a new video. Now I am going to discuss some basic concepts about marketing. So viewers, as we all know that we are surrounded by a world of needs and demands. So the strategy used to meet these needs and demands is called marketing. I must say that the strategy used to meet these needs and demands in exchange of something, in exchange of goods, in exchange of services or in, in, in exchange of something that values is called marketing. Marketing is the part of our lives. It touches us in some, some way every day. Here I have a precise definition of marketing for you. So viewers, marketing is a social process by which individuals and groups obtain what they need and want through creating and exchanging products and values with others. So I must say that marketing is a key factor to the business success. The marketing function not only deals with the production and distribution of the products, but it also is concerned with ethical responsibility function found in our in our global environment. Many of us are confused about the basic concept of marketing. So some people think it is an advertisement. Some people think it is a public relationship. But the truth is that all of these and many more things make up the field of marketing. I must say that it is a planning and executing the strategy involved in moving a good or service from producer to consumer. So viewers, marketing and many other business activities are related in some way. In simplified terms, marketers and others help move goods and services through creation and production process. At that point, marketers help move goods and services to the consumers. But the connection goes even further. Marketing can have a significant impact on all the areas of business. So basically, marketing identifies the customer's needs. It functions revolve around variety of tasks mostly related to 7 P's. Here are mentioned the 7 P's of marketing. These are product, price, place, promotion, positioning, personal relationship, people, profit. Let me tell you what is a product. It might be a service that you are selling. It might be a thing that you are selling. So product is, is a service or thing that you are trying to exchange, that you are trying to sell. And next, what is price? Price is the cost of your service or product. Next, place. So how are you distributing your product to get it into the marketplace? you can say that what is your target market target market means the specific place where you want to sell your product so what is promotion promotion is telling consumers in your target group about your product so next how can we define positioning positioning is the place where you want your product to hold in consumer's mind. 
Next, personal relationship. It is the relationship between you and your target consumers. Next, people. So, it is the public who can have impact on the organization or can be affected by the organization. Next step is profit. The basic objective of organization is to get profit, is to get valuable things or valuable service in return of product or service. Mostly it is in the form of money. Let me tell you about simple marketing system. Here is the simple marketing system. It comprises of producer, seller and you can say industry and consumers are the market, a collection of buyers. It consists of the factors like communication, information, money, goods or services, feedback. So simple marketing system comprises of different factors like producers or you can say seller, product, service, something valuable to exchange in return of product or service and also a communication process to have two-way communication like to provide information about the product and to have feedback in same regard from the customer. So viewers, let me share some basic activities of marketing. Sellers must search for the buyers, identify their needs, design good products and services, set prices for them and then to promote them and store and deliver them. This is our overall process of marketing. I must say that a one valid definition of business is to create a customer. So how can you create a customer? You can create a customer by identifying the customer's needs, designing goods according to the customer's needs and providing those goods at the proper place and the proper time. So what is the importance of marketing? So viewers, marketing plays an important role in the society. It is vital to the business. Mar marketing offers outstanding career opportunities. Marketing also affects your life every day. As I told you earlier, marketing is the part of our lives and touches us in some way every day. Let us here take an example to understand the process of marketing. Let us consider an example of opening a bookshop. So what questions you should answer yourself? Is there a need of bookshop? The second one is what is my target market? Target market mean who will buy, who will buy the products from your bookshop? Next question is what is my product? Basic item to be sold. Next you must ask yourself how shall I promote my product? Next how can I ensure co uh, consumer loyalty? So marketing is a process of getting the promotion but this requires solution to certain simple questions like who are our consumers? Who are our customers? What is our target market? What important and unique benefits do we provide? That may be product or service. And what are the benefits of your bookshop or of your campus? Viewers, these questions are apparently very simple but are very difficult to be answered. Like it is really difficult to define the basic character to be produced in the product as per demand.